you guys i'm not going to lie but we are suffering in nigeria you people should know that now <laughs> you guys we are suffering in nigeria all right guys so it's hours later um as you can see my face is shiny and it's giving glazed donuts <laughs> obviously the effects of good molecules okay so guys i just wanted to give you guys like a quick a quick update on how my life has been since i relocated because like that's the main reason i'm doing this vlog i wanted to talk about it because i know most of you you knew me through my relocation vlog relocating from nigeria to the u.s and i know you have like so many questions yeah so i don't know i just wanted to give you guys like a little update on how far my life on how my life has been and how it's going and everything so yes guys i relocated may so it's like it's like four months now since i relocated and to be honest it's been great it has been great i'm not going to lie it has been great and i'm just grateful to god because god has really been showing me off yeah it has been showing me off and it has really blessed me even when i feel i'm like do i deserve it questions like that but like god has been so good to me like it has been so freaking good to me so yeah my life has been good everything has been going out well for me and yeah <laughs> i am just grateful to god and you know so relocating here made me see like a whole lot of things a whole lot of differences compared to nigeria where we are coming from you guys i'm not going to lie but we are suffering in nigeria you people should know that now <laughs> you guys we are suffering in nigeria because even those basic things that we need you know good roads electricity those basic basic things things that we need like we don't even have them there in nigeria but you guys coming here and seeing like everything the difference and you know it just made me realize that we were actually suffering and i feel we nigerians we like saw it as like a normal thing because obviously we try to like get used to like so many things easily fast you know but you guys we are suffering we are suffering like let me just put that i miss nigeria yes i do miss nigeria i miss my friends i miss food i miss the way nigeria is like free and you know everything is just like free there you are free to do whatever thing i think nigeria is very sweet if you have money if you have money bro you are good to go you can just like do whatever thing you want and blah blah if you don't really have much money i don't think you're really going to like enjoy nigeria that much but yes i miss nigeria a whole lot i miss food i miss friends and yeah so yeah it's been great so far it's been good so far i'm working i'm trying I'm doing everything and yeah it's just it's just great so like i don't want to give you guys like a little update and i'm still going to do go into details like later on but you know i just wanted to give you like a quick update and just so you guys can do like how it's going and how everything is but yeah it's been so good and i'm just grateful to god i'm grateful to you guys for you know always supporting me your love subscribing i am so grateful i know it feels like i'm just like repeating the same thing over and over again but you guys it means a whole lot to me and i want you guys to know that, that i love you guys so much and i'm just so grateful for the continuous love the continuous support that you keep showing me and i don't take any of it for granted so yes guys okay another problem i forgot to say this i think <laughs> if you're relocating the only problem you, you might have is if you are if you don't really have friends because it gets lonely i'm not going to like it gets lonely sometimes because you really can't just like do everything you can't do like everything on your own you need there's no how you want to do it you need people to survive so i feel like that's the only problem of issues in my face 
okay yeah friends and food yeah a bit food too because sometimes you just like crew nigerian food and all of that but if you can cook yeah that's fine but i just feel the lonely it gets very lonely here so like if you don't have friends it might get very lonely for you and the funny thing is that everybody is working everybody is because me and my friends now we've been trying to plan an outing for like a couple of weeks now and you guys we still can't plan it if i'm busy the other person is busy like our schedule is just different so like if you don't have family here you don't have friends i'm sorry if you don't have family if you don't have friends it's going to be very hard but if you are a very easy going person you are yeah i just feel it's just going to relate to like other people it doesn't have to be from nigeria you don't have to like most of the friends i don't have any nigerian friend here i'm sorry i have mexican friends i have white friends those are the friends i have i i don't have any nigerian friend here not at the moment i've seen like so many nigerian people here yeah you guys <laughs> there are a whole lot of nigerian people like there are literally nigerian people everywhere every time i go to work i'm always like seeing nigerians every single day every single day but yeah yes guys <laughs> i think that's just what you are going to feel just that loneliness the boredom and aside that and uh, food <laughs> aside that everything is is fine here everything is everything is just straightforward everything has to do with if they say by this time just know that it's so so time it's going to happen or before then depending on the type of situation but yeah it's not like a promise i feel in nigeria where they say they are going to do something and they don't end up doing it but yeah it's been good and i don't know yes also another thing that i didn't know relocating will make you independent i don't know how you want to do it if you are the richest person in nigeria once you come here you have to learn how to do things yourself because the prices of things will even be like are you kidding me? you guys you will talk to bob the builder barbara the builder all the old builder <laughs> you will learn how to do you have to like learn how to do things yourself because almost everybody is busy with their life you, you can't just be calling people out like i'm not when i'm saying being independent i'm talking about okay if you buy bed from amazon you have to like fix them yourself if you buy things you have to fix them yourself things like that that's what i'm talking about i'm not talking about um, um cooking and all of that yeah another thing is that you need car i feel it depends on where you are living the city you are living but you need car you need car here here is different from nigeria where you can see like okada you can see boss here is just either you're driving your car or you're riding on the bus like there's a bus at a particular time or you are using uber to like go to wherever thing wherever place you're going to people trek but i just feel it's just convenient getting a car that way it's just better depending on where you live or the state or city you live yeah yeah so i'm not saying it's all rosy you don't get me wrong like everything is sweet and no i know there are some times that there are some days i have and i'm like what the fuck is going on yes it happens it gets like that sometimes but you know i'm just grateful and i think me personally i just try to be happy in every situation i find myself in it's a bad i tell myself it's a bad day or it's a bad hour not a bad life or it's just a bad thing and not a bad life so like i just keep on reminding myself every time because we 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 as humans we try to forget all the good things like when something bad happens we try to forget all the good things and just focus our mind on the bad thing when there are like so many good things happening all around you that you should be thankful for which is not good so i just try to remind myself that it's just a bad thing or it's just a bad power or bad time not a bad life and i think that just makes me appreciate things better because i'm like you know it happens already it, it is what it is and yeah life goes on but yes it's been so good and i'm just grateful to god <laughs> yes guys i just want to keep you guys updated so right now i think we've come to the end of this vlog 
I don't think I'm going to be doing anything anymore because baby, I am working back to back to back to back because I'm working Sunday, I'm working Monday, I'm working Tuesday, all because I need to go to Chicago on Wednesday morning. Lord have mercy. Hey guys, I'm going to Chicago on Wednesday. So I'll be in Chicago by the time we watch this so Okay. So <laughs> yes guys, I just want to keep you guys updated and We've come to the end of this vlog. If you stay to this very moment, thank you so much. I love you all so much. And, you know, I'm just grateful to you guys. I know I cried earlier and I'm like, oh, why did I cry? But I just feel you guys have to like see that part too and just know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just smiling. Yes, guys. So. I hope to see you next week and you know don't forget to like share subscribe post on your stories let other people get to know me and yes i just want to keep on being real with you guys and let you guys know what's happening in my life and yes guys i love you all so much <laughs> bye guys love you